uh, today we are outside the Panjim police station and if you can see young youth along with a parent, I am here with them. These are boys from different cities. One is from Vasco, one is from Karanzale, one is from Konda, another one is from Marga and a lot of other people from all over. The reason why we are doing this video is a lot of youngsters are going abroad and they are going through this agencies, uh, you know, through the newspaper cuttings that we get, we call up. They say that they are going to be given work visa and at the last minute they are given residential visa. They are made to stay like slaves inside and lot of confusion, lot of threats, lot of trouble that these youngsters have gone through. And the contract which was supposed to be for two years, they have come down within like three months or six months, eight months. Parents have taken, this gentleman here is a parent, he's taken loan and paid like 80,000 to uh, this particular company. We can't take the name out right now. But he's paid this particular company and it's a loan that he's taken. Plus all the medicals and all the other process was not owned by the company. Please make sure that you are aware of which agency is giving you the right visa. If they're sending you on a residential visa, please don't take it and suffer later on. Because right now these youngsters have the courage to make a complaint at the embassy. They are going to be following it up right till the end and we are hoping that this particular company, this agency, you know, gets convicted and you know, these youngsters are given their rightful dues. Also, I'll ask these boys if they have any message for the youth. Please go ahead. So, I just want to say to all the Goan youths, whoever trying to go abroad through a consultancy or any agent, first check if that agent is verified on the embassy, like if they are verified with the embassy and check if they are giving you the proper information of all the things they are going to deliver to you or not. Check the agreements, whatever they give it to you, before signing it, go through it properly. And when they are giving you the visa, check if it is an entry visa, a residence visa. Because on residence visa, you cannot work in a broad country. You have to get an employment visa. So please, check properly whatever you are going. Uh, as a parent, uh, would you like to give a message to all the parents? Yes, uh, surely I would like to tell all the parents that please see that while sending, you all also accompany with your children because some parents like first time it was my first time with my son to go and i was not knowing about it so anyhow i am trying to tell all the parents just uh, go with your children because some of the agents just cheat the children saying that these that unwanted things but the thing is like please all all the parents i request you please see that the while you're sending abroad it should be on proper visa thank you I'll also give you all a reference number that is uh, Danielson's number. He's also known as Danny. Any one of you all who have query regarding the same, you all have any questions, if you all are in doubt, if you all also want to make complaint how to go through the process through the embassy and everything, okay, he's a person of contact. And please do not fear to register a complaint. More than filing FIRs at police station, register at the embassy because then the process is faster. And one more important thing, if you all are a group of you all, do not do like a group complaint. Do an individual complaint on that particular agency. Thank you.